Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about selecting attributes in RapidMind. So first of all, we will have to go in this window. Now I'll select any data set from here. So I'll pick up the Titanic data set from here. I'll simply drag it and drop it. I'll select the attribute from here, selecting the attributes. Now what is the difference between the filter command and the attributes command? Filter, uh, filter is used when you want to select particular rows, but attributes is used when you want to select particular columns. So attributes is for the variables, filter is for the cases. Now I'll connect this. And I'll connect this. Now in this Titanic data set, we were having range of variables, but I want to work on only particular variables. So there are multiple ways in which I can do this. First of all, make sure that the operator is on. I can do the single selection that I want the things, I only want to work on age. So when I'll run on it, I'll only get the things, the data set of the age. Now there is a concept of inward selection. So when I select inward, what will happen? Apart from age, see, I'm inversing age. So age will now not be generated. All other variables dropping the age will be generated. Let's see. You can see now there is nowhere the age is not there. Okay. So this is a single selection which I can do. I can also have a subset selection. So as soon as I activate the subset, select the attributes. So I can do the multiple selections from here, age, gender, survived, passenger class, drop it, apply, and run it. So you can see uh, why name has been generated. Let's try to understand. The inverse selection was on. We will first close the inverse selection and let us try to check the data. Yes, passenger, gender, age, survived. Now I'll remove the filter tab from here. Sorry, selecting the attribute tab from here, not the filter, selecting the attribute tab from here. And I'll try to find out that which column has got the missing values. So when I'll run it, I'm able to figure out that there is some missing in cabin. So cabin has got the missing values. So I want to drop this particular uh, variable. I'll again go and select attributes. This time, no missing values. I'll activate no missing values. So simply, it will drop all those variables or columns which are having the missing values in it. So when I'll run it, I'll get the clear, clean data set in which the missing is not there. If you find that the missing is there in rows also, so you can use the combinations if you want of filter and selecting the attributes. If you want, you can go that way also. For more videos on Rapid Minor, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.